Let's take a look at the formula for tartaric acid. So we have these rules here, these guidelines for writing the formula for acids. First off, we know it's an acid because it says acid. Then we have this IC at the end and the stem. So if we look at the patterns here, we have hydro stem IC, but there's no hydro in front. So it's not two elements like hydrochloric acid or hydrobromic acid. Here we have stem plus IC, and that's what we're talking about, the tartar and the ick. So these rules here tell us we'll have three different elements and we'll have a polyatomic ion. So let's use these to write the formula for tartaric acid. So we're going to take the stem here, and instead of the ick that we have right here, we're going to write eight. So we have tartarate. And we can look this up on a table of polyatomic ions, or you could have memorized it. I personally don't have this memorized. So if we look it up, the tartarate ion, that looks like this. And since it's an ion, it has a charge. In this case, the whole thing has a two minus ionic charge. Since it's an acid, we're going to put an H in front of this ion here. So we put an H here, and we need to balance the charges. Hydrogen has a one plus ionic charge. So we're going to need two, two times one plus, to balance out the two minus. So this is the formula for tartaric acid, H2C4H4O6. And if we looked at the chemical structure of tartaric acid here, it would be these H's right here. These are the ones that are in front. These are the ones that make it an acid. Finally, we should note that tartaric acid here is chiral. This molecule that I've drawn right here will have a mirror image that will be slightly different. But if you're asked to write the formula for tartaric acid, H2C4H4O6. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.